So, Mr. Sarma, uh, which organization are you representing here in Stockholm World Water Week? Here in Stockholm, uh, I am representing Water Integrity Network. Uh, we have here a series of programs. And uh, I come from Nepal, where I am working in Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Fund Development Board. So, uh, I am here to take part in this Water Integrity Network Steering Committee meetings and also uh, take part in some workshops uh, and seminars which we are organizing here to develop multilateral partnership. And uh, uh, if you, if I will, I can say something about the win. Uh, winning is uh, it, it is an organization uh, in a way is new in the water sector so uh, it's work with individuals and organizations collaborations and integrate them to fight against corruption so what have you been doing in Nepal uh, uh, with respect to WIN's uh, involvement? Uh, in Nepal, I have some opportunities as uh, my organization, which is funded by the World Bank. Uh, it works in water and sanitation sector. Actually, it has been uh, almost for 10 years there uh, uh, to implement water and sanitation projects with the NGOs and the community participation. So uh, with this rural water supply and sanitation, we are having almost 209 NGOs as partner and now there also we have started one program which is basically a social accountability program. We term, uh, term it in Nepali Jagaran Karakam and that gives me opportunity to train these NGOs uh, uh, to work in social accountability, which is actually uh, to fight the corruption or promote the uh, transparency and uh, promote good governance in the water sector. As well, we will be awareing the civil societies there more and more to support these initiatives. And uh, now here me, I meet uh, other uh, uh, representation from Nepal, so who are who are already having this uh, network networks capacity building networks, and I seek forward to work in collaboration with them, uh, so that we can more uh, reach to the more uh, audiences and promote wind working in Nepal. So what do we think are the major challenges uh, to stop water corruption in uh, your country? It's, it's actually a taboo topic when we talk about the uh, corruption, but as it's draining the water sector, uh, budget 30 to 40 percent, which has been observed after several studies uh, all around the world. So it's quite an impo important context that we work for uh, on this goal. Uh, actually, uh, in uh, 2008, Transparency International has focused on this uh, global corruption report. And uh, much of this water-related studies published in the report is uh, reflects that there is a very great need to address uh, water related corruption problems. Uh, that's how WIN has come into e existence. Uh, now we have partner in so many uh, countries and we are looking forward to work with other uh, multi-sector agencies which, who are already in existence all over the world. And uh, WIN is looking um, after the uh, uh, water 
as a food product good and as a energy product productive good and also a supply of water and sanitation and also water resource management and there are constituencies which uh, has to bring together private sector pu public sector civil societies and knowledge based organizations in the same format we will uh, be trying to uh, advance ourselves in nepal so at this stage uh, in the conference it gives us one opportunity uh, to look for the challenges uh, similar organizations or other water organization had been uh, taken to for to go forward in such kind of endeavors so uh, what do you think will be the outcome of your participation at this uh, international conference uh, in terms of uh, uh, reducing the water corruption in nepal can you briefly explain that actually i could meet the people here who had been in such practices before with other aspects of goal and objectives and i am able to meet here dignitaries and the donors and who can pass through very important information as well as is has been a, a platform to go on for some dialogue with them thank you very much